In this tutorial, we are going to talk about CX Engage's reporting interface. There are two main reporting interfaces available to CX Engage administrators. One of them is the historical reporting dashboard, which you can access by going to reporting and then hitting the historical dashboard option here, and that shows the data set you see behind the menu. And you also can select the real-time dashboard. CX Engage is very unique in that where many other platforms will first create data, but then not give you many ways to view that data, we have put a data visualization engine at the heart of CX Engage. So even though I do offer a variety of package dashboards, even though I do offer a lot of pre-canned reports that customers can run at will, it is also true that every report in our platform can be modified as desired to fit your needs. For example, if I wanted to take a look at this interaction volume by our report, and if I hover over it, you'll notice that I get a little drop down arrow here. Then if I select that arrow, you'll see that I'm able to take this report and dump it as an image file or as an Excel sheet if I wanted to. I also can change this report from a column report to a bar report or a table even if I wanted to. But if I want to get very creative, I can select this open in visualizer option. When a report in CX Engage is opened inside the visualizer, you can literally change the entire look and feel of the report. The data elements that might normally be displayed can be modified and added to. In this particular report, we are going to take a report that was showing call arrival by hour and change it and modify it to show you how quick and easy it is to do. In this case, uh, I'm going to take the hour of day out of my list because that right now is showing me the number of interactions for the entire month of August by hour. So how many interactions arrived each hour for the whole month of August. Maybe I want to see that by quarter hour. So I can take and drop hour of day off the list. I can go to the tenant time of day selection. And under tenant time of day, I can do this by half hour, by quarter hour, a lot of different ways you can display this information. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this by quarter hour. So now I have the exact same report, but rather than showing call arrival by hour, I'm gonna be able to show call arrival by quarter hour. Now these are call arrivals, but what if I wanted to put say abandons on the exact same report? I can go down to the abandoned expression and drop it onto the list so that now I can see the interactions arrived by quarter hour and abandoned by quarter hour all in the exact same report. You'll notice that abandons are running at a much smaller scale than interactions arriving. They have different numbers on the scale. So I'm gonna combine those two into one scale which is gonna allow us to see how abandons relate to interactions by quarter hour for the month of August. Now this is giving me the entire month at a glance. I can go through, if I wanted to change this color-wise, I can change its color scheme to be something else. If I wanted to change this from a bar graph to an area report, just to kind of make it stand out and look interesting, I can do that. If I wanted to change this from a graph based upon area into a table, that's also an option for me. Obviously, I'm giving you interactions arrived and abandoned by quarter hour for the month of August. But in this case, perhaps I want to be a little bit more interesting in this. Maybe I want to see the date or the queue that these interactions arrived in. So I want to see this by queue by day, by quarter hour, or whatever. So I can take the date section and drop that in here. So now I'm getting by date, by quarter hour, how many interactions have been answered versus abandoned. And I also can go through and add in the name of the queue. So the main takeaway here is that if there is a report in the platform that seems like it's almost got what you want, if only you could make a couple of small changes, Rest assured that every pre-canned report in the system can be customized as easily as we are demonstrating here so that each report is able to fit the exact needs you may have inside the platform. In addition to the historical reporting interface, we also have a real-time dashboard. 
So whereas historical reports are giving you a breakdown of interactions over arbitrary time periods, this is telling me what's happening in the system right here and right now. So this is giving me kind of a high level look and feel of interactions and cues and agents. Uh, I could obviously hit the drop down box and maybe select another table like the number of interactions who are currently waiting in queue, for example, as a view. Now at the same time, you notice that we can configure what we call uh, switchers. So I can very easily say these are all my queues or here's one queue that I might, I might want to drill down on. And it's also true that if you wanted to create your own custom dashboard, you can do that. You go down into the custom real-time dashboard, you hit the create button, and you title a new dashboard however you choose. I'm going to pick an existing custom dashboard just because it will help me to avoid creating more clutter uh, in my tenant. And you'll notice that when I open up this particular untitled dashboard three here, I can add in all sorts of statistics and tables and widgets of all kind into my platform. So let's see if I want to create a custom dashboard that's going to tell me the queue details for a particular set of queues. And on the exact same dashboard, I want to add in a table that tells me the interactions that are currently in queue themselves. So here's all the interactions in queue and the statistics of each set of queues. And if I wanted to set uh, other kinds of labels or switchers or statistics, like I just want to see kind of available interactions or be able to put these different kinds of functions inside the real-time dashboard, if I want to set up alerts or to name them certain things, these are all elements that the real-time dashboard supports natively. Also note that all of the statistics you see in the real-time dashboard are obtained simply by querying our REST API in real-time. So every statistic I show you here could also be mined through our REST API and sent on to your wallboard system or into your sales order entry system or any kind of a tracking system that you were running for the live uptime of your business. And any real-time dashboard, once you save it, can be accessed by future customers at will. So if you have supervisors that want to see the same information, look at the same screen, they can do so very easily by referring back to that saved dashboard and they'll all be working from the same set of data.